Hi Virgo, this is your September 9th through the 15th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love entering your life. In the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three will be love from the past. In the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, in the fifth and final spread, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. So this first bet is a new love this week, Virgo. And by the way, Virgo, if you're celebrating your birthday this week, then happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing year ahead of you. So anyway, we've got the, the Hermit, uh, clarified by the Devil. We have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Lovers. We also have Strength, clarified by the Ace of Swords. Then in the potential outcome, we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune and uh, the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, with a Capricorn, a Gemini, Leo, maybe a Sagittarius, or any Zodiac sign. Well, Virgo, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. Um, so, when I am about to tell you, Virgo, I mean it in a good, positive way. I think you're going to meet somebody this week, and you're going to paint a target on that person's back. And you're not going to stop until you're in the possession of that person, in a good way. <laughs> That's how it feels. I think you're going to work out a strategy. I think you're going to fall in love with somebody. And the good news, I think that person is also in love with you. But I think you are the one who is pursuing somebody. Or you will just uh, uh, create this um, situation where uh, they're going to come to you. They're going to come to you. You're going to set a trap. <laughs> All right? Because it feels like borderline possessive. But uh, this borderline possessive energy is coming from you, Virgo. That's how it feels. Again, I think you'll just simply see somebody. You're going to fall for somebody really, really hard. But uh, you're going to... You're not going to stop until the two of you are together. All right? That's how it feels. Um, the very first card I came out is the Hermit. The Hermit is your major arcana card. That was the very first card I came out. It's always a good sign to have uh, your own major arcana card in your own reading. Always says that means you're the one calling the shots, everything is revolving around you, or you're the one with an initiative, or all of the above. The first card in the potential outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. I assume that's also you, Virgo. So the first card in the main spread is your major arcana card and the first card in the potential outcome is the queen of pentacles that is also you you run this show virgo you run this show you are clarified by the devil <laughs> the devil as i was clarifying the hermit i simply asked how will virgo feel about this and the devil showed up you could be dealing with a capricorn right the devil is a capricorn major arcana card but the devil if that's how you feel then you're borderline possessive you're borderline possessed. You feel this unnatural pull towards this person. Uh, you find somebody very irresistible. And that's how you feel towards this person. The four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck could also be interpreted as a card of possessiveness. Somebody who wants to hold on to something or someone and never let them go. Right? And again, I, it feels like it's coming from you. Virgo. The Nine of Cups right next to the Hermit is clarified by the Lovers. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true. It's a card of a personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And it's clarified by the Lovers. The Lovers could be a Gemini you're dealing with. But if you take a look at the Devil and the Lovers card, they look kind of similar. Kind of similar. Don't you think? In both of them, we have two people on the, on the bottom, right? In the devil, we have two people. In the lovers, we have two people. In the devil, we have the devil presiding over those two people. In the lovers, we have a deity or an archangel presiding over them. But they're kind of similar, right? Two people <laughs> in it. In both of those two cards. The Nine of Cups it could be a card of some kind of an event. It could be your birthday. Or some other event. Because in some tarot decks, in the Nine of Cups, people are sitting around the table enjoying a meal and celebrating. In some other tarot decks, in the Nine of Cups, people are sitting around and also celebrating. Alright, then we have Strength clarified by the Ace of Swords. Strength could be a Leo. You're dealing with Strength could be interpreted as a card of pure, raw passion. Pure, raw passion. Virgo. The Ace of Swords, clarifying that, is a card of clarity, so you'll be crystal clear about how you feel and what you need to do about it. <laughs> and the Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. 
It's a card of a new beginning. Any potential outcome again, we have you, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yep, marriage. Marriage, baby. Marriage. Right? The Ten of Pentacles is a card of a rock-solid commitment to marriage. The Wheel of Fortune is a start of a new cycle on the next level up, because it's in a potential outcome. The Wheel of Fortune could be interpreted as multiple zodiac signs. I usually go with a Sagittarius, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But, again, I, it feels like you know, you know what you want, Virgo, this week with this person, and you're not going to stop until it happens exactly how you want it to happen, Virgo. Alright? Really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already married or in a relationship, uh, Virgo, this card is for you. Um, we have uh, the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Six of Wands. We have uh, the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups and uh, the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. To be honest with you, Virgo, the first thing I thought of was your birthday. You know, if you're celebrating your birthday this week, that's, what's, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what we're looking at. If it's not your birthday, maybe it's some kind of a family reunion, family get-together, or girls' night out, <laughs> right? Uh, or it could be someone's wedding, someone's engagement party, someone's baby shower, something like that. As you can see, we have three queens on the table. I assume you're the Queen of Pentacles here. But whenever I see so many court cards, it's usually at least, yeah, maybe it's three people, but they could be many more, many more people. Right, because so many court cards and uh, the ten of cups. Right next to the deck, we have a couple of adults in there, a couple of kids. The page of cups could be a child. Yeah, it's 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 something nice, something good, something. Um, the queen of swords, by the way, is qualified by the six of wands. The six of wands is a card of like accomplishment. It's a card of victory, success. You could be celebrating this queens of swords engagement party or promotion at work or something it's definitely it, it does give me a vibe of like celebration that you will have a reason to celebrate right whatever it is it could be multiple celebrations taking this place it doesn't have to be just one event we're looking at right but you're definitely here <laughs> the queen of pentacles is here that's you all right cool Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Virgo, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Um, we have the King of Wands, clarified by Death. We have the Nine of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Swords. We have the Three of Swords and uh, the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have uh, Scorpio on the table. You know what? Even I was a little bit shocked to see something like this. Virgo. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest with you. With the uh, Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Five of Swords, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. So you gotta beware of this King of Wands. It kind of reminds me of the Beware readings I still do every once in a while. So you definitely need to be aware of this King of Wands, who is probably a fire sign. If they're not a fire sign, this person is a player. Right? This person is a player. They break, they break people's hearts. This person is a cheater, this person is very dishonest, and uh, yeah. If it is your birthday, they could be using it as an excuse to reach out to you, to wish you a happy birthday. If it's not your birthday, I don't know, you, they'll just show up. But uh, this is like really bad. It's, it's as bad as it gets with those Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so be careful. This person is coming back. They just want to have a little fun with you, and that's it. That's it. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Virgo, this week. Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Moon. We also have uh, the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Page of Cups. Then we have the, the Page of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And we have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So here's the deal. You do have this Queen of Swords right there in the middle. Um, the Queen of Swords could be somebody you're dealing with, or uh, it could be you embracing the energy of the King of Swords. So keep that in mind. But I will interpret the rest of this... Uh, the rest of the, I will spend the rest of the time for the spread interpreting as if the Queen of Swords is somebody you are dealing with. But that still gives us two, <laughs> two different scenarios. For some of you, um, if you're in the position of hiring people or promoting people, you could be deciding perhaps be between this Queen of Swords and somebody else, and you're choosing this Queen of Swords. You're hiring this Queen of Swords or you're promoting this Queen of Swords. 
Um, if you're a judge, <laughs> you're deciding in the favor of this Queen of Swords, right? Or it could be the other way around. Maybe this Queen of Swords is in the position of hiring or promoting people. In that case, they're choosing you, okay? Um, if you run your own business, perhaps you and this uh, Queen of Swords can do business together, right? Because um, to the left from the Queen of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles clarified by the Moon. The Two of Pentacles is a card of deciding between two in this case. The moon clarifying it is a card of a secret. So somebody is secretly deciding. Again, it could be this Queen of Swords who is deciding, or it could be you deciding between this Queen of Swords and somebody else. Um, so here comes the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. Those two pages, they're talking about the same thing. Communication or an invitation. Right? And uh, the Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Page of Wands, it's a card of... For some of you, it could be a card of real estate, a home. Right? For others of you, it's simply money. The Ten of Pentacles could be interpreted as a card of a financial abundance. All right? Justice on the bottom of the deck could be literally a judicial system, court, or uh, justice could be a Libra. This Queen of Swords can be a Libra. Right? Um, and uh, at the same time, justice is being fair. Justice is being fair. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Virgo. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Swords. Uh, we also have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow uh, Earth sign, uh, Taurus, another Virgo Capricorn. Um, all right, so I assume this is directly related to you, and perhaps um, if you've been feeling like your financial situation could be improved, then this is definitely for you, right? Because this spread, I believe, is about uh, a Virgo whose situ financial situation is about to improve. <laughs> That's how it feels, right? Because we start with the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles uh, could be a card of feeling lonely and sad and uh, left out in the cold, but it's also a card of, you know, not having enough money or being unemployed or hating your job, not getting compensated enough, things like that. What you're not expecting is that Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Page of Swords. That's what's coming your way. The Page of Swords is a message, right? A letter, an email, a phone call, what have you. And what's in that message is that Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is money. It's the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights. For some of you, it could be a government assistance. For others of you, it could be a loan, business loan. Or it could be a job or a promotion or um, maybe a bonus. But yeah, it's, a, it's, it's finances coming your way. The Two of Cups right next to the deck, I think in this case, it's a handshake. Handshake. And it could be literally a handshake if you're being promoted or getting a job or, or maybe it's some kind of a business deal. Or it could be you signing paperwork and saying, yes, I agree. Yes, I agree to this. It could be a partnership alliance of some sort, but uh, that's, that still means you've got money coming your way. All right, Virgo. So, yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. Happy birthday to those of you celebrating one more time. And other than that, Virgo, have a fantastic week.